everybody, my name's Kaylee and this is my first video. I was accepted into the Disney College program for their fall 2021 program. I decided to start a YouTube channel to just kind of document my experience at the Disney College program. Honestly, mainly just so I can look back on it, but I'm really excited for you guys to come on this journey with me. I was accepted back on July 1st and my actual arrival date is August 16th, which is exactly two weeks from today. And I'm really excited and I thought now would be a good time for me to make a DCP tag video. So the first question is, how did you hear about the program? And I've honestly known about the Disney College program kind of my whole life. I'm definitely a long time. I applied for the spring 2020 semester a while back and I ended up not going before anything happened, before anyone got sent home. I don't know, I just feel like everything happens for a reason. Um, and now I got accepted and I'm in and I'm so excited to finally actually go down. That kind of just leads me into question number two. So question number two is how was the interview process? And if you've watched any other college program vlogs, you would know that the program was a lot different um, post-COVID, I guess, they just completely changed up everything. So there wasn't a phone interview this time and the interview process was honestly really quick. So I filled out the application back in May and I got my email for the web assessment part of the interview like 10 minutes later. So it was really fast. That took me about maybe like 25 minutes, half hour. And after that, I didn't hear anything back for maybe like a month and a half. Not that I forgot that I applied, but I just like hadn't heard anything back. So I was very like, okay, like did I just not get accepted? I really didn't know what to think. I didn't even know personally that they weren't doing the phone interviews. I thought that they were just kind of putting them off, I guess, but that they weren't gonna do the phone interviews eventually. Sorry, I felt like my screen was dim. <laughs> it's almost my coffee. Um, anyways, let's move on to question three, which is where were you when you found out? So when I found out, I was actually in my shower. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna put this in here. I probably just will because I don't really have pride, but like, I was, have, I was like, a, it was a bad day and I was low-key crying in my shower. And then I just checked my email and all I see is like the Disney program's email address and it just says congratulations and like my whole mood instantly changed. Like it completely just flipped. I was like, oh my God, like I just got accepted to the Disney college program. Even saying that out loud still seems insane. Like that still sounds fake and I've known this for a month now a little over i've known i was going for over a month so like it's just i don't know i don't think i'm ever gonna get used to saying that so number four is what is your role and what are your preferred roles if you don't have a role i have been assigned to merchandise which i'm very excited about but i'll get into that i do not have my location yet um i leave exactly two weeks from today so itineraries are supposed to come out exactly a week before they've been coming a little early so i don't know if they're gonna come early i really hope they do because i just want to know my location if it does come in before this video is posted i will edit my role reveal into this one if not it will be in my next video i am so excited to have merchandise before i well first of all we didn't get a preference any roles that we wanted but before i was assigned my role the roles that I did want, that I knew were being offered, were merchandise and attractions. Honestly, attractions was my number one. Merchandise was really close under that though. So I'm really happy with merchandise and I'm so excited to work that. Programs before us were able to do photo pass and they were also able to do character attendant. And I think those would have been my two dream roles, but again, with COVID, they're not happening right now. So I already knew those weren't happening prior to waiting to receive any role at all so i did not have my hopes high for those at all i do want to put in i guess though that location wise this is like a completely random one but i would be so happy if i were to end up in the winnie the pooh store like 100 acre goods in magic kingdom that's just my like specific store that i would literally like die to work for i definitely want to pick up a shift and cover 
somebody there or like switch a shift with somebody there because I really just want to work in there at least for a day. Besides that though, I would also really like the Emporium or World of Disney even. I know a lot of people don't like Disney Springs working there, but I feel like World of Disney would be so much fun. I don't know. I genuinely feel like I'll be happy with so many different locations. So I'm just very excited to finally get it and see. Question number five is how did you find your roommates? So long story short, I didn't. Disney with our arrival group, cause we're one of the last ones for, um, that's been accepted right now. I'm August 16th, there's an August 23rd and an August 30th that's been accepted right now. And then they haven't accepted anyone for September yet. So being one of the latest arrival groups as of now and as of like the past month, they kind of have given us like not as many options, I guess, as the earlier arrival groups have when Flamingo Crossings was completely brand new and every room was still open. So we didn't get a say in our roommates. I do not know who they are yet. And basically I find out when I walk in the door. So I will keep you updated on that. Question number six is what are you gonna miss while you're away on your program? I feel like that's just a hard question because I am gonna miss a bunch of things. But at the same time, I'm so excited to be starting this new chapter and to like start this adventure, like working in Disney World, living in Disney World. like that's honestly just insane like it's still so insane to say i am obviously gonna miss things but i'm just so much more excited i feel like i haven't had much time to think about everything i'm gonna miss but i am gonna miss my best friend a lot we met in college and we just graduated back in may and he also lives an hour from my house like when i live at home so we have not been separated for more than maybe two weeks and that was really pushing it since the four years that we've known each other so that's just gonna be really strange and just very new and like, I don't like it at all. I'm also gonna miss my family, but I did go away to college for four years and like this is definitely a longer period of time. This is six months. My dates are August 16th through January 27th, but I was away for months at a time back in college. It's definitely still a big difference and I'm gonna miss them, but I just feel like I have been away before, if that makes sense. I'm also just gonna miss my college campus and like being at school in the fall. But again, I graduated in May, so it's not like I was going back anyway, but I just feel like that's another thing that's just gonna kind of hit me more once um, everybody else is going back to campus that I graduated and like I'm not there anymore. But like I'll be in Disney World, so it's okay. So question number seven is what is your favorite Disney park? I've actually only been to two parks. So I've been to Magic Kingdom and I've also been to Epcot. Out of Epcot and Magic Kingdom, I feel like I can't even pick a favorite. I feel like because Magic Kingdom is just Magic Kingdom. Like every single person, you have to love Magic Kingdom. And also I grew up in California and I used to go to Disneyland all the time. So Magic Kingdom is the closest to Disneyland. And that just kind of holds so many memories for me, I guess. I don't know, Magic Kingdom, Disneyland, it's like the same thing. I don't really know how to word it. But for that reason, I love Magic Kingdom. But I have not been to Hollywood Studios or Animal Kingdom. So I don't think I can really answer that question fully. And I also am a huge Toy Story person. So I feel like the second that I step into Toy Story Land, my answers might completely change. Question number eight is what is the first thing I wanna do when I get down there? So realistically, I am flying down the day before we move in. So we move in August 16th and I'm flying down August 15th and I'm staying at the Pop Century Hotel. I decided to do that just because the prices weren't that expensive at all, but also it gives me transportation like from the airport to um, the hotel I can take them to Disney Magical Express and I'm flying down by myself and I'm gonna have two suitcases a duffel bag and a backpack by myself and I just feel like bringing that into an uber and like figuring all that out just sounded that just sounded way too difficult <laughs> realistically I'm staying at Pop Century and I've never been there before so I do kind of want to explore that hotel I just kind of want to like I don't know see what's going on and see what the hotel is. I honestly might go over to the pool and tan and swim a little on my own, which like kind of sounds depressing, but I don't know anybody down there yet. So if anybody's already down there and wants to hang out with me August 15th when I get there and have no friends until move-in day, 
greatly would appreciate it. But if not, I most likely am just gonna go hang out around Pop Century. In general, one of the first things that I really want to do is I just want to go into Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom. Like the second that I have access to the parks, that's what I want to do because again, like I've never seen them. I've also never seen any resort besides Art of Animation. And again, I'm staying at Pop Century now, but I haven't seen any of the other resorts. So I just want to resort hop and I'm kind of planning to do that a lot of the first week before I get park access. Number nine is what is the number one thing on your DCP bucket list? So that's a hard one. Number one, I think I'd have to say would be going to Disney's very merry Christmas party. Christmas and Disney have always been like my number one things ever, but I really, really, really want to go and I'm going to be so sad if I can't go because I'm working or if they just even don't have it because of COVID but that is probably number one on my list. I do have so many other things, but that has to be number one. And then the last question is, what is the one thing that you hope that you take away from doing this program? And this probably sounds like the most cliche answer ever, but I really just wanna grow as a person on this program. I've never really gone away by myself and had to be independent completely on my own. I went to college obviously because you have to do that to be in the Disney college program but even then like I went an hour from my house I've never really gone anywhere far and I've never been completely on my own so going to Florida like moving from New York to Florida that just sounds like such a huge life change to me alone like and adding Disney into that makes it even more insane. I just want to have new experiences as well that just kind of stick with me forever. And I just want to make really good friends. And also it would be really cool if I could stick around and maybe work with Disney in the future. That's obviously just something that is in my mind now that I am going to be in the college program and it's even an option because I never really thought that would be an option. Physically, I do want to take away. I'm bringing down I don't know how many, but I'm bringing down a bunch of disposable cameras and I just want to kind of use them throughout my entire experience and develop all of them at the very end because I just feel like that'll be such a cute way to remember my whole program. Okay, so that was the last question for today. I hope that you enjoyed and if you want to follow along for my Disney College program journey that starts two weeks from today make sure to hit the subscribe button down below give this video a thumbs up and you can also just comment things that you would like to see me do in the future i kind of have a list going and i feel like it'll be a lot easier to make videos once i get down there but if you have any videos that you want me to make before i even leave for disney or anything at all just leave them down below so i can do that and i'm also going to link my disney instagram down below as well because you can keep up with me on there okay so yeah thank you for watching and i hope to see you guys on my next video bye